Okay, this is really great. Mal Young is back. He's here. He's got an Emmy for Outstanding Writing in the Drama Series for The Young and the Restless and two of your team. Oh, yeah, this is Michael Comforti, Dave Rupel. We've got an amazing team spread out. As I said in my speech, I haven't met half the team because they live in Atlanta. Everybody commutes they everywhere. Live in, they live all over the place. But they just send in these amazing pieces of work on, you know, these final drafts. And, and he gave us nothing to work with, so it was uh, all yeah. us. But it's a great team. You know, it's an unusual team in that you're never in a room together. Right, there's no writer's room where you can all sit in a room. You're all, like, no. calling in. No. So, you know, but it's about bringing all those talents together and making shows that hopefully do things like this. So let's talk about the, the shows that won you this. Yeah. You, what did you submit? Um, it was the um, when JT was murdered. I particularly wanted to do something that hadn't been done before where the minimum amount of... I just thought we've got some great actors who could hold a whole episode of just, you know, the women in the, in the living room. Um, and when I presented it to the writing team, they all went, wow. And that's what you want, you know? And they all responded brilliantly and saying, I could do that. And it would be like a play. It was all about the writing. And that's why... I feel the team do deserve this because they tried to, they dared to do something differently. And I wouldn't, I always said to them, I wouldn't have asked them to do it if I didn't think they could do it. I, I believed in them because they're the best. What was know? the second? You had two submissions, right? Um, I think the other one was the departure of um, Ashley, was it? Was it the big reveal when, wasn't it, was it when Jack and Ashley had the showdown? Yes, that's, yes. Yeah. I, and, and again, you know, you've got great actors who you know are going to deliver. And you want to excite, you know, with these shows, you want them all to be going, oh my God, have you seen these scripts? You want them excited, don't you? You want the directors, all the team, turning over the pages going, what happens next, what happens next? If you get them excited, you get the viewers excited. Well, I think that whole Abbott family drama that played out was some of the finest. I mean, that was just so great. And then going back into the history of those, of the kids and yeah. seeing how that was just such a great thing. What was your favorite part to write and do this past well, season? Well, I have to say that to expand on what Mal's been saying, yeah. that he brought us something that was, you know, rather, you know, out there. I mean, it was, it was a little risky, and not everyone was going to necessarily be on board with it. And he said, "Here's what I want to do. What do you think?" We we're all like, "What? Yes!" You know, and so, yeah, yeah. The JT story was really. I mean, it was it was some of the best stuff that I've written. I've been doing this for 30 years. I know you have. Yeah, I mean, what I loved about it was I think we needed in this medium a time to take major risks. And a lot of times we play it safe because we're always afraid to alienate the audience in some way because everybody's worried about the ratings. But I think we a lot of times the genre needs to grow a little bit and, forward, and you know? I think because of social media, we tend to knee-jerk react a little bit too yeah. quickly to just some haters who hate everything. And we should just rise above that and do good work, believe in the team, and, and and say, there you go, that's the best we can give you. Discuss, but if we need to react, we don't take risks, and that's not good. Dave, what did you think of the storyline? Uh, I remember when he first pitched the JT storyline to the Breakdown you hung, team. You hung up the phone. Uh, no, I think it was so exciting because you're like, this is not what you see every day. And it was great. I actually had a feeling we might win because usually a lot of primetime writers vote. And I think when they saw what I, Mal That's read, what I think, too. It was very, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was different. Well, but congratulations. If you're, if you're telling us that we were honoring the Abbott family while we were doing this, pushing the boundaries of what can be told and how to tell it. And yet, we were adhering so, to the core values yeah. of the show and telling it in a way that Which you responded important. to. Right. That's our job. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Well, thank so, you. very well deserved. Congratulations. Thanks, Mike.